Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Winspear Center for Music. My name is Tatiana Warszynski. I am the violinist with the Edmonton Symphony Orchestra. And here... My name is Mikolaj Warszynski. I am Tatiana's son. I'm a pianist. And uh, I'm really happy to be here as part of the Mother's Day celebrations. Uh, and this is live at the Winspear as part of the series from screen to stage to screen. Yeah, and thank you, thank you, patrons, for your ongoing support. We really appreciate it. And if you wish, you could donate to the Winspear Center so we can continue with our ongoing musical journey during this difficult time of the pandemic. Our first song is um, Melody in F by Anton Rubinstein, which is a really popular tune, the most popular tune of Anton Rubinstein, very catchy and, and it's trans... And Full of swagger. Yes, and, and arranged for many instruments because originally it was written for piano. So enjoy this piece. So the next piece is written, composed by Robert Schumann, who is actually a romantic, 
composer, very prolific. And he wrote these three romances for oboe. And one of them, the second one in A major, is written from any instruments, including the violin. And saxophone. And saxophone? Yes. And it's called Inish. It's written Einfach Inich, which is simplicity and spirituality, inner feeling of heart. So very fitting for Mother's Day. Please enjoy the romance.
Okay, so that brings us to <coughs> a piece by Chopin. And today I'm going to perform a, a movement from the second piano concerto. This is the Larghetto from the F minor piano concerto. It was actually written first, but published second, so it is now uh, written as the piano concerto number two. Um, so there's actually three versions of this piece which were written in the day. And one, of course, was a solo version that Chopin would play uh, because it's hard to get an orchestra, obviously. Uh, a second version would be with a small ensemble, be it a quartet or quintet string instruments. And then, of course, the full orchestra version. So today we're going to kind of do a little mix of a solo plus an ensemble. We're going to, I sort of thought it would be an interesting way to put it together because there's a really remarkable recitative in this piece. And uh, what better way to make tremolos than with a violin? So in the middle section, there is a, as a massive orchestral tremolo happening, which will be represented by um, Tatiana today for the um, version which we're performing. Uh, so this piece was written uh, back in Warsaw still before he left for Paris, which is remarkable considering that his biggest works were written at the onset of his career. Um, so he launched his career literally with these massive pieces. And then uh, interesting note is that in the letters to his longtime correspondent, Titus Wojciechowski, uh, he was writing that this is sort of um, an homage to a plutonic love of his youth, uh, a singer in the Warsaw Opera called Konstantia Gladkowska, and a lot of his um, ornamentations and his uh, passage work are inspired by his uh, fantastic love for, for her. So Another romance. Another romance, exactly. So here we are with uh, Larghetto from the Chopin F minor concerto.
Okay, so that brings us to the final piece on today's program. I'd like to perform a little scherzo by uh, a lady this time, and she is one of the great virtuosos of the Romantic period, Mrs. Clara Schumann. And uh, she knew Chopin actually quite well. Uh, first time her and her father went to see Schumann in Paris. Uh, unfortunately, they weren't able to hear him perform because everything was canceled because they also were experiencing plague. So we know a little bit about that. <clears throat> so they went home uh, without having heard him. Uh, but then they would have met in Dresden on numerous occasions and they played for each other. So this scherzo is kind of uh, in line with uh, Chopin's uh, idea of writing scherzos. I don't think Schumann, Robert Schumann wrote scherzos, although it has a lot of uh, connection with the feel of, of Robert Schumann's piano textural writing. So there is a sort of a combination. Of course, she was married to Robert Schumann and she championed his works over the course of her life. So I would like to perform for you the second scherzo uh, in C minor by Clara Schumann.
Mother's Day, everybody. Thank you, thank you so much again, and thank you, Winspear Center, for the music to provide such wonderful seri for the musicians. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to thank you. Thank you.